rich and fertile plain of Mesopotamia in modern-day Iraq lives a people known as the Marsh Arabs. They live in the traditional manner of their ancestors by fishing, raising water buffalo, and cultivating the rich soil along the shores of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Mesopotamia, the land between the Tigris and Euphrates, has been called the cradle of civilization. One of the world's first civilizations, Sumer, sprang from this fertile land about 5,000 years ago. For protection from nomadic invaders, Sumerians organized their society into small political units called city-states. The first true city was Uruk, where even today you can still see parts of the city gates and the six-mile wall that once enclosed it. This was the first true city on Earth. In the center, a temple to this city's goddess stood on top of a stepped platform known as a ziggurat. In their cities, the Sumerians made many important innovations. They were the first to use a pottery wheel. They developed astronomy, algebra, and the first accurate city map. Most importantly, they developed a written language. The first known writing was found by archaeologists in Uruk. Unlike Uruk, the Sumerian city Erbil is still lived in today. These houses have been destroyed and rebuilt countless times, but the base organization seems very similar to what we have learned about ancient Sumerian cities. While the cities of Sumer flourished, many people living outside looked at them with great envy. They wanted all the benefits of civilization that Sumerians had developed. Around 2300 BC, a people called the Akkadians conquered Sumer and took over the rich Mesopotamian civilization. This began a cycle of conquest. Soon after invaders took over Mesopotamia, they faced new conquerors themselves. But in spite of changes in language and leadership, Sumerian culture continued to influence those who ruled over Mesopotamia for hundreds of years.